Hey, hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Contensula, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go Deep Dive video. Today we're going to be looking at the new Community Day Pokemon, and it is, of course, going to be Obstacoon with the move Obstruct. This is a Pokemon that has already had a very positive reputation within the Go Battle League, but with the introduction of this brand new Community Day move, this Pokemon could definitely shake things up even further than it already has. I'm going to be talking about all of this in today's video, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. Alrighty, let's talk about Obstagoon. So, this Pokemon just gained itself a brand new Community Day move, and it is, of course, going to be Obstruct. Now, there's been a lot of discussions regarding whether or not this move is going to be a game changer for Obstacoon, considering that it has already been a very powerful Pokemon in the Great League and Ultra League, but with this new move, it could elevate it to much higher levels. But unfortunately, it's more of a side grade, and I'm going to be explaining that more in depth later on in this video. But first, let's get into the brass tacks. So, Obstagoon has the base attack stat of 180, a base defense stat of 194, and a base stamina stat of 212. It has the dark and normal typing, which means it's going to have weaknesses to bug types, fairy types, and fighting types. And of course, with fighting types, you will want to watch out because it has a double weakness to that type. And then when it comes to resistances, it's going to resist ghost type attacks, psychic type attacks, and dark type attacks. And then within the resistances, it's going to resist ghost type attacks by 2 times the amount. And then with psychic type attacks, it's going to resist it 1.5 times the amount. Overall, it seems like Obstagoon is just tailor-made for PvP. It's not necessarily going to be that useful in raid battles, and that is primarily due to its low base stats compared to other dark types. But for PvP, more specifically for the Great League and the Ultra League, this Pokemon's base stats are just right. The rank 1 PvP IVs for the Great League is going to be 0 attack, 14 defense, and 15 stamina, and the rank 1 IVs for the Ultra League is going to be 0 attack, 15 defense, and 13 stamina. So now let's get into the move pool of Obstagoon. It can come with the fast attacks Lick and Counter, and then the charge attacks Gunk Shot, Hyper Beam, Cross Chop, Night Slash, and then of course the Community Day move Obstruct. Now one of the reasons why you would bring Obstagoon into the Go Battle League is of course the amount of shield baiting that you could do, mainly because of the moves Night Slash and Cross Chop. Both of those moves can bait out a lot of shields, and very handedly deal with a lot of Pokemon that are considered meta. But the focus that I want to put is going to be on the Charge Attack Obstruct. This is a brand new move that was introduced through the Galarian Zigzagoon Community Day, and there's a lot of questions regarding whether or not this move will improve this Pokemon for the Go Battle League. Well, based on its energy cost as well as the damage, this move ends up becoming more of a side grade to Night Slash as opposed to a straight upgrade. The one key difference between Obstruct and Night Slash, however, is the fact that it comes with a stats altering effect. Every time you use Obstruct, it will raise the Obstagoon's defense by one stage, and it will also lower the opposing Pokemon's defense by one stage. This is kind of in line with the flavor of this move from the mainstream games, and this is also going to be the first ever charge attack that's going to alter the stats of both the user of the move as well as the opposing Pokemon. So in terms of whether or not you should use Obstruct in the Go Battle League, well, it may not necessarily win you a lot more battles if you are are already using Obstacoon because it does kind of like the same effect. The only difference is, of course, the fact that if you successfully bait out shields, you'll still get a little bit out of it because you're lowering their defense stat. So maybe for that reason alone, you should go with Obstruct over Night Slash when you're using this Pokemon in the Go Battle League. In terms of damage and energy cost, it's still only a side grade, but because of the stat altering effect, it might be a slight improvement. But regardless of that, I still think this Pokemon is still going to be somewhat of an A tier Pokemon for the Great League, and that is of course because there are still some dark types that are going to be a little bit better than Obstacoon in the Go Battle League. 
If you had to choose between Obstacoon and any of the other top tier dark types, I would probably end up going with those other dark types. Like for example, Mandibuzz is going to be really useful considering that it does counter a lot of Pokemon that are currently in the Great League meta. And then of course there's Pokemon like Scrafty, which is one of the S tier Pokemon in the Great League. And then finally, there is Umbreon, which is a tried and true Pokemon with the dark typing. And it is one of the most powerful Pokemon that's currently available in the Great League. But Obstagoon with Obstruct can do a lot of damage to some of the top tier Pokemon. Like for example, if you're struggling with Registeel, then this Pokemon could be an option that you could use. So all in all, this is still a very powerful Pokemon for the Go Battle League, but it is certainly going to get outclassed by other Dark types, but it is somewhat situational. It is going to have some key wins against some of the top tier Pokemon, so this Pokemon is still considered very useful. If you're also in any kind of specialty cup, this Pokemon could actually be very reliable, so do not ignore that. If there are restrictions on very powerful Dark types like Scraggy and Umbreon, then you should definitely pull up with Obstagoon with Obstruct and you will actually win out a lot of key matchups. Also don't forget that Obstagoon has a double weakness to fighting types and it is weak against bug types and fairy types, all three of which are really common in the Go Battle League, so do be aware of that. This Pokemon is very powerful and tailor made for PvP, but it can get hard countered by some of the most common Pokemon as well. Now in terms of the Ultra League, a lot of the same things that I pointed out for the Great League do apply, but this Pokemon may be useful against some of the top tier Pokemon in the Ultra League. It's definitely going to rank higher in the Ultra League compared to the Great League, and that is of course because it wins key matchups against some of the top tier Pokemon like Galarian Stunfisk and Giratina Altered Form, as well as Pokemon like Walrein and Swampert. So this could be a very powerful Pokemon for the Ultra League as opposed to the Great League. But you do want to watch out because Pokemon like Machamp is going to be a hard counter, so use this Pokemon sparingly. If you want to throw off your opponents with a non-meta pick, then this could be a really good option for the Ultra League. And then finally, we should close off this video by talking about whether or not Obstagoon with Obstruct is going to be relevant in raids. Like I mentioned before, this Pokemon is very weak for raid battles and there's always going to be better dark type options, even though Obstruct is a slight in improvement in PvP, it doesn't necessarily push Obstagoon into the top tier for raid battles, so unfortunately, this Pokemon is strictly just for PvP. But that's okay, considering that there's plenty of really powerful dark types out there that you could use for raid battles and for stuff like Team Go Rocket battles. And yeah, with that said, that is going to be the conclusion of this deep dive into Obstagoon with the Community Day move Obstruct. But let me know your thoughts regarding this Pokemon down below in the comment section. Do you have yourself a really good Obstagoon? Is this a particular Pokemon that you use in the Go Battle League? Let me know why down below and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video and found it to be useful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, then do consider checking out the links in the description below. And yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.